This is a continuation of the video relating to MAMP and how to set up your Presto Sharp and set up MAMP. So, first thing I want to recommend is if you watch the first video, it will help you get to this stage uh, relating to it. This one's ready for installation, the files are already where they should be. Um, you need to download the file from Presto Sharp, but it's all covered in the video that's in the description which will take you to the point we're at right now, which is basically going through the steps of installation. Um, so what you've got here is Presto Sharp, once it's ready, will be at localhost 888 Presto Sharp install. And this is why I say watch the other video first. So what you want to do is click next, because you the language I want it in is actually in English. Scroll down. I agree with the above terms and conditions. I'll let you have a read of that as well. Just take a second, okay. It's saying there's a couple of cautionary things on here. Not really a problem uh, for what I'm doing today. So carry on from that as well. Called the name te uh, shop test. Its main activity is cars, but it could be anything because it will configure this to suit. So let's, uh, let's find something a bit more interesting. Uh, let's do home and garden or do country. I did put Spain, but I'm going to recommend putting whatever. I put that as a sample, but then it was trying to find the um, language pack for Spanish, and I don't actually need that. So I'll leave it as English. It'll be um, much easier to download and faster to install. First name, admin, last main admin. So put your information in there and the email that this will configure to. Then just put your shop password, confirm it by typing it again, then click next and your database the first thing you want to do here is make sure you put localhost because a lot of the time it will automatically populate this with something that it cannot find so as we're working on a local server put localhost uh, i'm going to call this one presto shop database login is root and the database password is root as well now if i do this it probably ain't going to find it or shouldn't find it so it, it got hold of the server but there is no database that's fine because i did set it up that way now for that this is what you're looking for this is the php admin now if you go to mamp and you go to their web start page i'll just run through this quickly then what you're looking for is their mysql page which is this php my admin which will take you to where and i'm going to call it so you click on new and we're going to call this presto shop and just leave all that configured, press create. And what I wanna do is no tables found, that's fine. Search, query, export, privileges, root, change the password. It should be root already, but we'll go through this step, at least you know how to change it later on as well. So we'll go along the top here, and one of these should be password, there you go, change password, and it's going to be root, which it should already be, so it might not let me actually change it. Then press go, and OK. That's ready. Press go again, just to make sure it's saved everything. The attempt to edit privileges of the user, which are already currently logged in, that's fine. And it's ready to receive data. So what we do is we go back to the installation. So we test the database connection now, and it should actually turn around and say, yeah, we found it. Click next and it will go away and start installing the file. This will take, on my system I've actually got some hard hard drive stuff going on so it's a little bit slower than it should be but probably only take a minute maximum on your system. Um, so as you can see it's going through the different stages. I removed the Spanish language pack so then it does have to go away and try and download it. Um, just put it in English because the English is already pre-configured just to speed things up a little bit. And we'll just sit and wait for that to install. As you can see, the installation is complete. It's, it's kept my login information. Um, and what we want to actually do is, as you can see here, you must delete the install folder. Um, what I recommend personally is actually just renaming it to something else. And here we go with store installation. I think that we're already here. We'll soon find out. So now we know it's set up, we need to move the install folder. So what you want to do is go into MAMP. This is in your applications. 
Hasty Docks, press a sharp which where we put it, and what we're looking for is the install folder, because it'll keep looking for it knowing it's there. In my case, because this is a test server, I don't actually want to delete it, I actually just want to rename it. But in your case, I'd recommend deleting it if you're not going to do anything else with it. So where have I just lost it? Uh, install, rename. I'll rename. Let's just give it a little name that's slightly different, so hopefully I can't find it. And I want to go to the store installation. So it should be able to find it. So if I take this off here, it should be able to go to press the shop directly now. It should recognize that the installation is already complete. So my system's a little bit slow today. And there you go, test. And as you can see, it adjusts the template depending on what you tell it you're actually doing. So in this case, I said it was like, I think it was home, home and whatever. So it is designed the website to suit that. And I actually like this template for what I'm actually gonna do anyway. So this actually is better than the one I was actually working with previously. Um, but that's basically it. Um, it's ready to go. As a final note, it's how to access your admin panel. When you do it the first time, if you delete the, the language, in this case is EN for English, and put admin, it will take you over to your server, uh, sorry, the back office. But in this case, it will actually throw me a 404 error because it's already moved it. It renamed the file uh, to stop people having a brute force attack. And you're probably thinking, well, I've forgotten mine, where is it? Well, what you need to do is just log in on the back end. So in this case, we'll go back through applications, into MAMP, into HT Docs numbers in uh, letters is to stop people brute force attacking your website because once they get know where you are they'll be going admin and trying a million passwords which just put server load on it and very unlikely to break in anyway but the whole point is this is just a little bit of protection that points them completely in the wrong direction because admin doesn't exist you'll find it'll take you straight to the back office and then you can log straight in I'm not going to do it right now um, because quite simply I just want to get you up and running with an installation and I'll do another tutorial covering different sections of the back end after this one. Thanks for watching.